Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Bio Ink Redemption in the Lethal Guides. Uh, the last one wasn't amazing, but just kind of got screwed over a little bit by the AI. Today we're moving on to Terminal Patient. Keep the patient alive for a set number of days. This scenario and the next one are both very lifestyles heavy, so we will be focusing on that in our boosters. Let's go for a female patient on Lethal Difficulty, of course. For our economy, keeping them alive... Probably go for the emergency boost there. Um, weak diseases could be nice just so that we are able to better regenerate our system. So we will pick that up instead of uh, better diagnostics. Lifestyles, we want better lifestyles. An extra 20% effectiveness there for intensive care. We will go for um, either better treatments. No. Uh, I think we're going to still go for the cheaper tests. Uh, I do end up doing a lot of diagnostics by the end of this. And for our environment, we do want to go for slow collapse. All right. Here goes nothing. This one's not too bad. We just have to stay alive for 170 days. So we are a terminal patient, which means we go straight to the emergency room, which means those extra points are going to add up pretty effectively. So we need to cure a few things, at least get some of the more dangerous systems cured up as quick as we can, and then use the lifestyles to fix up the rest of the damage. Now, right now, the cardio system's taking a lot of damage. I am willing to bet that this patient has either a stroke or an aneurysm or maybe even both. So we're going to go ahead and test for that immediately. Um, you might, you probably have an arrhythmia too. Let's go for an electrocardiography and find out if you have a heart attack as well as the arrhythmia. Let's rule out some of the really high level stuff. If we can cure that, if it's at least like level three or so damage, lifestyles can fix the rest of it. So we'll have to cure, uh, cure a few symptoms in the heart, the lungs, and the nervous system. If we can do all that, we win. It's really not that bad. And then we just need to run out the clock from there. Stay alive. Just don't die. And again, lifestyles are pretty good in that case. Uh, for the respiratory system, we have chest pains. That's probably a heart attack, but we'll see. Um, pneumothorax. You do have two of the symptoms necessary, and everything else technically could be the case. I'm going to go ahead and do a chest x-ray, which could at least, if he doesn't have this, find out if he has chronic bronchitis. And we'll go ahead and pick up some lifestyles pretty much immediately. Um, something in the heart would be nice. We'll go for a Mediterranean diet. And uh, not worry about muscular... Let's go for some relaxation therapy to improve the nervous system at least a little bit. We'll just offset some of the damage currently being done, pick some of those up a little early. Doesn't really matter that much right now, but we're getting so many extra points because we go for the emergency booster, that's not so bad. Hey, look, we found a load of stuff! Told you that was going to happen. Let's go for the nitroglycerin. It only takes a day, and we're going to set back the heart attack. All right, congratulations. Oh, no pneumothorax, chronic bronchitis, or sarcoidosis. All right, so that one was a whiff, but at least the cardio stuff was pretty effective. Ah! Almost missed out on that. There we go. Pick you up. Pick you up. So, dementia, nervous breakdown, chronic stress, Alzheimer's disease, but no stroke, brain aneurysm, or Parkinson's. All right. Well, at least because we did the brain MRI, we ruled out stroke and aneurysm, but we found Alzheimer's, which means we are going to uncover a lot of other stuff. Uh, I am going to go for, let's say, nitroglycerin over here, which, again, you'd think that the same treatment would be able to fix both, but no. So we'll go ahead and do that, just because I can cure it now. We'll want to get an arrhythmia fixed up with a pacemaker. Not too worried about the hypertension or the high cholesterol, but the uh, arrhythmia, absolutely. And that's going to offset most of the damage currently being done to the system. Uh, what do we need for upgrades? I actually don't remember. Give me one second. Ah, just got to get all these points, these sweet, sweet, lovely points. Can't miss out on any of those. Gosh dang it, there's more. Okay, pick up all you, pick up all you, and what do we got? Uh, treat three diseases. Don't mind if I do. Let's go for the arrhythmia. A pacemaker would be good. We will also go for the high cholesterol cured up. And for hypertension, we need a little bit more, but the alpha blockers would be easy for us to get. All right. We may end up having to do some ultrasounds to find out if he has anything else in that system. Sorry, she has anything else in that system. Uh, we'll come back to that a little bit later, though. Hypertension, we can cure this with the alpha blockers. And now no more damage will be done to the... Um, uh, cardio system, I still think that there's... Well, you're coughing up blood. Uh, there's a very good chance you have a pulmonary embolism on top of everything else. Leg swelling. Could be all of this. We're gonna need to do an ultrasound and confirm. Just want to rule some of that stuff out. The nervous system is taking damage, but not as bad as it could have been. Now, if I can get four points, we'll get some extra harvest power, which would be... Whoop, grab that first. Would be good to pick these things up a little bit faster, especially since we are getting the plus one boost. We do not want to miss out on a single point if we can avoid it. Uh, a little bit more right here and here. And then we go for the ultrasound. And we're going to rule out something else. If he does have deep vein thrombosis, I suspect he probably does have the pulmonary embolism. But we will find out for sure. Anything else I can get that's really cheap uh, for a lifestyle? Answer is probably no. 
Eh, I would have liked something else to improve the circulatory system, but mm, if we can at least cure one or two more things, I think that the system will actually start regenerating itself. And if we can beat this without a single system failing, that would be a huge boon for me. Alzheimer's, um, I would like to cure you, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. Okay. Uh, blood clots, but did not make it all the way over to deep vein thrombosis. All right, good. So we can cure the blood clots, and I think then the cardio system will start regenerating itself. Unless there's other symptoms in other um, uh, subgroups that is causing cardio damage, which could very well... Oh, grab you first. Very well be the case. What do we need for the next upgrade? Uh, an intensive care item. All right, we'll worry about that in a minute. For now, let's go ahead and pick you up. Anticoagulants. And let's start curing something else. We'll go for you. And then I need to go for the cure of the ner nervous breakdown. Do you have burnout and depression? You have anxiety, and that's about it. You might have a burnout. You might not. But anxiety also could be cured by fixing the nervous breakdown and the chronic stress. So let's worry about those first and then see what happens. Okay, a few more points to pick up over here. A few more points to pick up over here. We do need an intensive care item. And if we're going to do that, then we want to go for fi fast diagnosis and then even better lifestyles. Another 20% efficiency. Which means that we'll be able to start focusing all of our points on uh, lifestyles pretty much once we have the nervous system stabilized and then the patient will live for the rest of the time. And that's an easy win for the scenario. Respiratory system is actually currently going to fail. That's almost certain. Let's go for the axiolytics and then let's go for the antidepressants. And that should be more or less solved, so we can go for a little bit more lifestyles and nervous system's fine. It's just the respiratory system which is currently suffering. That's a good amount of points right there. Let's go for the extra plus three every 15 days. Uh, so for the respiratory system, we found it was none of these. So what else could we have? We could have respiratory failure. Let's do a test for that. Um, you might have lung cancer. I think that would be the next thing we just test for. You don't currently have any symptoms for the flu. So if it's not respiratory failure, then it could be lung cancer, and we'll do a lung biopsy after that. See if we can cure it, prevent it from failing. No respiratory failure. All right, lung cancer strikes me as the most likely culprit from here on out. We'll find out for sure, though. Uh, and if we can get that to rule out, uh, to also get us the um, emph emphysema, is that how you pronounce that? I'd like to be able to diagnose that for free as well. So let's go for the lung biopsy. Okay. Um, the respiratory system could really use a little bit of work. If we could get enough points to get some, um... No, we're not going to be able to regenerate it in time. We're going to have to let this fail, I think. And, uh, then we'll worry about something else. So there's those two symptoms done. So let's go for the lung cancer. We will go for... I would like to do wedge resection. For now, we'll go for this. Wedge resection would be nice. Takes 12 points. We'll go ahead and knock that out. And then we just focus on lifestyles exclusively from here on out. We'll go for the uh, strength training, extra aerobic exercise. We'll probably do a lung transplant or whatever that is. Uh, and then we won't be taking any more damage across any symptoms. So right now we're looking at a little damage in the nervous system, respiratory, and musco system. Easily overcome just by some healthy exercise. I love that. The patient does have a couple of risk factors, but nothing really that substantial. So let's save up to go for a lung transplant just so it stops doing damage to everything. And that'll be it. Uh, we'll also go for the extra intensive care item that makes all of our um, lifestyles 20% more effective, which means we'll easily overcome this. Let's see. Uh, lung transplant. Grab you. Okay. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah. Patient is basically already done, and we can start running out the clock at this point. This is going to be a very easy scenario. Just a few really well-placed diagnoses. Go for that extra booster for the emergency room, and then boom, you just you can't lose. Yeah, really can't. We'll go for the better lifestyles now, and then we're going to go for some... I wanted to go for aerobic exercise, because that's circulatory and respiratory. Um, anything else that would be better right now? Nervous, muscular, immune? Nah, we'll save it one more point and go for the aerobic exercising. That seems good enough. Actually, we could go for extra points right now. Mm, Alright, we'll go ahead and pick that up first. I'm not worried about the patient dying right now. Seems easy enough. There we go. Okay. Now we can go for the aerobic. And yeah, just... Take a breather. You already won the scenario. We're just running out of the clock. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No biggie whatsoever. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up some strength training. Then we'll go for a fitness enthusiast. Now it's just kind of a test to see how much health can you get back for Jane Doe. You know, you've cured her. Can you now get her nice and healthy so she'll last for years to come? Uh, and actually, that's really good practice for the next scenario. Because the next scenario will be to get your patient's health up to 70% within a certain amount of time. So, if you can actually do that in this scenario, you probably can do it in the next one as well with really no problem. Ah, I want both of you. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, you are going to become an athlete. You're also going to get some yoga. You're going to do proper hydration, followed by, well, I would like to do a healthy diet, but we'll come back to that a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, enjoy your yoga, but you're messing up my points. They're flying up there with your arm. Can you stop moving, please, Jane Doe? Thank you. All right. Healthy diet plus a sleep routine plus some meditation, and that's going to get her nervous system regenerating pretty nicely. She's already back up to 68% health. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think I think if you go for the better lifestyles plus the emergency room bonus, there's just it's really hard to lose the scenario. Uh, if you have any capability of diagnosing whatsoever. We're going to go for the weight loss diet, which makes everything else there better. We're going to go for some moderate drinking. Uh, we are going to be drug-free, which is, I guess, to assume that she was doing drugs before, so naughty, naughty. Um, and yeah, I'm being a little bit flippant in this scenario because there's really not much else to do. 30 days left. One more month in my care before we're going to discharge you. Yes, I think your insurance can handle it, so you're not allowed to leave. We'll go for that. Uh, can't pick up good genetics quite yet. That is fine. doop a doop And go for the good genetics, and then boom. We have every single lifestyle, each working uh, a total of 40% more effectively because we also picked up that intensive care item. There's really nothing else to do but store up points and go for the best score possible, which should not be too hard. So if we end up having like 50 or so points by the end of this, I would not be surprised. Uh, immune system, extra points there. Nine days, eight days, seven... Six. Come on, give me some more points. I want better score. 90% health right now. That's pretty darn good. And it looks like we're going to get nothing else for the rest of the scenario. All right, that's it then. Easy victory. This is not a hard scenario at all. We actually got an achievement. Detective. Did I, oh, I got 200% diagnosis efficiency. That's pretty nice. Oh, look at that score. Look at that. 10,000. That's the best I've ever done. Beautiful. 315 points. All right. Easy scenario. At least I feel like I redeemed myself from the last one. Next, we have to go to remission, which again, get your patient up to 70% health. This is pretty good practice for the remission scenario. I don't find this one to be all that difficult. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.